Hi, this is Mike Mu again. In this short little video, I'm just going to show you how you can better secure your iPhone. Uh, this is running version iOS uh, 9.0.2, and one of the main things you want to do to help secure your iPhone is just to click on settings and do software update. And basically, make sure that you are running the latest version of the iOS in general for any iOS device that you have, because there's a number of security fixes that get put out um, all the time that you want to make sure you're taking advantage of. Okay, so by default on the newest iOS uh, 9.0.2, you're going to have the phone automatically encrypted. And so that's set by default, which is great. However, if you are running an older version, please make sure that when it asks you if you want to encrypt it, go ahead and set up that you want to have it encrypted. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at um, the uh, auto lock settings. Set this up to whatever you feel is appropriate. I have it set at three minutes, but I don't have any um, I don't have any PHI stored on my phone. Okay, so but if you do, uh, I recommend it setting at 30 seconds or so. Three minutes is going to be okay for me because generally when I shut off my iPhone, I actually or put it in my pocket, I actually press the power button to go ahead and that will actually automatically lock it. All right, now let's go on to the Touch ID and passcode. Okay. So since I don't have EPHI on my system, I actually have it set up for a six digit passcode. Now what you can do is set up an alphanumeric one if you possibly use uh, email for work and um, use it on your iOS device, you can go ahead and set up a better password on here. I'm gonna go ahead and log in here and show you how to do that. Okay, you will note that I have the Touch ID option um, on my phone. You may or may not have that on your phone depending on how old your device is. If it's iOS, uh, if it's iPhone 5s and, and later, you do have that option. Um, I have a number of fingerprints. Go ahead and set up as as well. Now, what you do is you go ahead and click on Change Passcode, and you'll be required to enter in your current passcode, your old passcode, and then I'll show you how to do the options. So after you enter in your old passcode, you want to click on Passcode Options, and then from here you want to go ahead and choose Custom Alphanumeric Code. What that allows you to do is go ahead and type in however long of a password that you want to use. Personally, I use at least a 14 uh, character passcode, which actually includes, um, uh, you know, uppercase, lowercase, and numbers, and also a character. So you can go ahead and type that in there as well. You'll probably want to do this to really secure your device, um, particularly if you are, uh, you know, using it specifically for work-related stuff. Now, this could become bothersome if you don't have Touch ID, so um, keep that in mind when you're going ahead to set that up. So you want to turn uh, require the passcode immediately, and then uh, figure out which ones that you want to have access when it's locked. So, uh, for instance, if you have anything that is related to PHI that might be coming in, you see, notice that I have some emails coming at the top that might have um, information that might show up in the lock screen. You might want to turn off some of these uh, views such as uh, notifications view, for instance. Okay, so uh, erase data is also a good one to have. Uh, if someone has your phone and for whatever reason um, they try to get into it after 10 times, it will automatically fail if they're not able to get in and it'll basically wipe out your phone. So that's an option that I would highly recommend. It's called data protection and you have that enabled. Uh, I, I show that yeah, I have that enabled over here. And finally, uh, what I recommend is going to iCloud and then going down to the bottom and then turning on Find My Phone. Okay, uh, this basically allows you to locate your phone if it does get lost and through an interface. And it also allows you to remote wipe and send the last location of the phone and also beep the phone, send a message to the phone in case uh, any good Samaritan happens to pick up your phone. You can send a little message to them. Um, this will automatically uh, allow you to uh, protect your phone in ways that you can't if you didn't have Find My iPhone turned on. So make sure you turn that on and also send last location on. Turn on both of these settings. So as you can see, it'll allow you to locate, lock, and erase your iPhone and prevents it from being erased or reactivated without your password. So you want those things on this way. It uh, makes your phone less valuable to a thief or would-be thief or any uh, person that might pick up your phone. Okay, so turn those things on. And by doing that, you will accomplish the minimum recommended security settings that you should do on your own personal device. Now, if you're going to be using it for work, I definitely recommend you take a look at some other third parties that segregate your data uh, from your personal private and uh, allow you to do other remote administration tasks on here. But that's a separate topic. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.